deacon them, and he's commanding them under the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. We command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. Now, we're gonna, what I'm going to be preaching on this morning is a pretty simple but, but applicable sermon, hopefully, for everybody, and that has to do with just working, finding a job, holding a job, what type of job to get, you know, to, for, for everybody, for all different situations. Because it's evident that God wants us working. That God doesn't want us idle. That God doesn't want us getting involved in sin because we're not busy. We need to keep ourselves busy. I touched on this a week or two ago on idleness and how important it is to make sure you stay busy with your time. And you don't just have a whole bunch of free time that's not filled up with something to do. Because the, the more idleness you have, the more sin you're going to get into. And the problem that they had here is that some people just weren't working at all. But on the flip side, we're getting into this too, is that some people work too much. Some people focus way too much time on working for that physical bread and not enough time working for the Lord. Both things are a problem. When you, when you can't get unbalanced in our life, as much as, you know, because you can hear a sermon like this or you read a passage like this, right? says, oh, I need to make sure I get to work. And amen, right? I don't want to be like, I don't want to be worse than an infidel. As the Bible says in 1 Timothy um, chapter 5, verse number 8, you can turn there if you'd like. 1 Timothy 5, 8 says, but if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Someone who's, who's an infidel means their you know, fidelity is like faithfulness, it's faithful. Infidel means you're not faithful. It's people who don't have faith. I mean, you should know what an infidel is anyways, but that's where the word comes from. It's people who don't have faith. Unbelievers. Says you're worse than, than, than someone. You know, you're not providing for your own household, men. You're worse than an unbeliever. You need to provide for your own household. And uh, so you can hear and read passages like this say, wow, I don't, I don't want to be that guy. And you shouldn't. You know, no one wants to be that guy. Let's, let's work hard. But then as you work and work and work, sometimes what happens is you start conflating what is necessary, what is providing for, with a whole bunch of extra extravagance as being a need, right? Especially in such a, a, a blessed society that we live in, a lot more things start to become what we consider to be needs that aren't really needs. Right? The extra vehicles, the extra houses, the, the toys, the cars, the whatever, you know, all this stuff. Well, I need to have this and I need to have that. And when you start following that end, you can keep working, 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 working in order to provide, to provide all of those things. And you end up not working for God because you get too wrapped up.